What's up guys, John Madden from YouGoProBaseball.com and we're going to talk today about corking your bat, corking a wood bat. I've seen a bunch of videos on YouTube, you know, talking about it and that's all they do is talk about it, but I'm going to show you how to do it, what, what supplies you need and uh, you know, you'll be good to go. Um, one thing I do have to mention is that it is legal to use a cork bat, um, so you know, as a disclaimer, we're going to say no one's using these in the games, and uh, I'm just going to show you how to do it for fun. So this is this is what you need. First off is a, a wood bat. This is actually a pretty special bat to to me, or was a special bat to me. Uh, an old teammate of mine, Kyle Blanks, gave me this bat. It was brand new when he gave it to me, and he signed it. Got a good looking signature there, Blanksy. Um, but then the dog got a hold of it. I don't know if you can see that. Chewed the crap out of it. All up and down the thing. And uh, you know, we're, so we're gonna use the Kyle Blanks, Kyle Blanks back to, to uh, cork. You know, we're gonna cork Kyle Blanks' bat. See if we can't start some nasty rumors about how Kyle Blanks corks his bat. Uh, <laughs> but uh, what I do wanna do is I'll give this away. After we cork it, you know, I'm gonna cork. Let me show you the supplies you're gonna need the bat obviously. Um, then I went and got a just a wooden, that's what we're going to use to plug the top. I mean you don't need this whole thing but I figured I could use make something else out of this when I'm done. You could use it as a hitting stick or something like that. We're only going to use about an inch of it just to plug the top when we're done. Um, for cork, um, I went and got went ahead and got some of the uh, the super bouncy balls. Probably not going to need that many. Um, can stick together. You're going to need a drill with a bit, a bit size enough to fit, uh, fit the, the balls in there, you know, to cut a nice decent hole. And obviously this to cut the, the um, piece of wood that you're going to plug it with. And we're going to, we're going to glue it all together, sand it down, you know, uh, put some nail polish or something on the top, uh, make it look like it's nice and clean, and take it to the park and some bombs. I'll show you right now. So, I've got some, I've already put some balls down in there. I don't know if you can see that. I uh, tried to test it out to see if it would fit, and they got stuck down there. So that's a good thing, that means they fit, but I couldn't get them out to show you that I was putting them in. So all I'm going to do is check to make sure that they are all the way down there. And then I'm going to, um, you know, fill, fill it up the rest of the way with some balls and see how many we can get in there that, that might be one too many and here's our cork that we have yeah that's one too many I'm gonna take one out because we want the cork to sit down in the cup it was a it was a you know I had a cup before um, so we want this to kind of sit down in the cup so now we got it sitting there like that what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get some liquid nails in there, and you can actually push down. It's like a spring right now, with the with the balls in there. So I, I can push down and back, and I'm gonna fill it up with the liquid nails and let it dry, and then in the areas around that, we're gonna sand it a little bit. Okay, we're gonna take a little piece of sandpaper and sand it, and then put a little pine tar in there, just kind of get it so it looks like nothing's going on. You know what I'm saying? All right. Alright, now I'm just going to fill it up with liquid nails and put my my cap on. Let it, let it set a little bit and dry it up. We're, fi we're filled up there. Let's see. 
hopefully this doesn't, doesn't come up. You might have to get a little towel or something. It's overflowing a little bit with the liquid nails. I actually like this a little bit though. I'm going to smooth it off and, um, and make it a, a regular top and then just sand it. So we'll see how that works. All right, so it's been a few days since I <clears throat> put the liquid nails in the in the end of the bat. I actually took out the um, little wood piece that I had in there because it wasn't sitting right and the liquid nails didn't look like it was taken to it right. Um, so I took it out and just filled it all in with liquid nails. Um, now, it's I did the video on Saturday, and today is Friday, so it's almost been a week. Now, liquid nails take 7 to 10 days to fully dry. Okay, fully get as to as strong as it is supposed to be, and this is a lot of liquid nails like right in there, all together and stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit for even longer. Um, I'm gonna say like maybe 15 days, 18 days before I swing this bat. It's gotten a lot harder, and it's starting to hold right around here on the on the edges. It's getting pretty strong. I think this is gonna be real nice and solid all the way you know in there to about that far. Um, you know, in 15 to 18 days. So if you put the liquid nails in there and, and see it all squishy around there for like two, three days, you're not supposed to be swinging it yet. You got to wait a little bit. Um, I don't think I'm going to put any pine tower or anything on because it matches the bat pretty, the color matches pretty good. And there's a, just enough indent to, not like it's a cupped bat, but just enough indent to, uh, you know, not seem like anything's going on. I'm not going to sand anything yet on it. Um, maybe at the end. Of the 15 to 18 days but uh, it's it looks good it looks like it's working out great so that is how you cork a bat and that is how Kyle Blanks corks his bats no I'm just kidding that's how I cork cork Kyle Blanks his bats